All right, guys, so I'm excited about this one. We've been talking about in 1 Samuel 30 about Ziglag and about how uh, David, you know, and his mighty men, you know, like they kind of, they, they lost a lot there. The enemy came in, um, took all of their people, took all of, you know, their wives, their children, their livestock, you went off with it, raised it to the ground. And basically after this moment of sadness, David asked the Lord, hey, Lord, should we go after them? And the Lord answers with, you know, to pursue, which we talked about yesterday, overtake and recover all. And now the overtake part, this is one of my favorite parts, okay? It's one of my favorite parts because the pursue part has to do with pursuing or going after. It also means overtaking, right? But the overtake, whenever uh, God says it again, he's specifically talking about, you know, catching them overtaking them, overpowering them, but also gaining and catching them, right? So a lot of times whenever we encounter this sort of thing, right? Whenever we go through something tough and, you know, we thought we were doing the right thing, we were out there, we were doing what God called us to do, and then all of a sudden our home, our zigzag, like, gets overtaken. We have a lot of questions, we're this, but we think, man, we're just so set back. Well, the pursuit part means you need to get out of there. Get out of that sad moment, that depressed time. You need to go, right? And then this overtake is two things. It's also got a promise connected to it. Because whenever God says you'll overtake them, he is saying, hey, yeah, you're going to overpower them. You know, you're going to win, right? He wasn't sending them out to lose. But it also means these people were already gone. They were already farther away. And... David and his men are going to overtake them. He is going to redeem time in order for them to be able to catch these other guys that took all their stuff. They're going after them. They're going to overtake them, right? If I'm in a race and I overtake someone, that means that I pass them up, right? This time, right, where they are so far behind, the time that they wasted because they sat there and they're, and they're moping, I told you that don't hold that against you. The overtake part is God promising to redeem the time that they missed. Look, I know for me, a lot of times whenever I'm, you know, like I feel like I need to, you know, like I'm just, I'm not, not where I need to be. I'm like, mm, you know, like God, I, I need, you know, like I, maybe I get down on myself, but I'm like, God, no, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you redeem my time, redeem this time. Help me overtake, help me catch up to where I need to be. Or to where you wanted me to be in the first place. So I just want to encourage you. If that's you. If you've wasted time. God can redeem your time. If you've wasted. You know. Uh, whether that be by doing things you shouldn't do. Or because you were moping. Or because of whatever reason. You just wasn't. You didn't feel like it was the right time. Or you hesitated. God can redeem it. So go and overtake but you can't overtake if you don't pursue. Thanks for taking a minute.